For Japan Princess, number 10, Karin Arakawa. Thank you. Here we are for Japan Princess taking on the New South Wales Strikers. We have Karin Arakawa leading off the batting for the Princess team. In the circle for the Strikers is Jessica Middleton. We have two strikes here on Arakawa. It's a high one go for a ball. It's Adam Collins here in commentary once again, joined by Jamie Barrington and JB. This is the first time we've seen the Japanese teams this morning. Yes, good morning to everyone and good morning to you and Hannah here in the commentary box. And the sun's come out beautifully as well. Oh, it looks fantastic here. I don't know what's going on with that. The Perspex, sorry, it's the sun catching it, so don't worry about the rays. Uh, and yes, this Japanese team, Princess. They're a good team. We love their names. The Dream uh, and the Princess in the girls' division. And they are a very good team, These this uh, girls' team. So Arakawa, the batter in the box with one ball and two strikes. Found that last one away. That one in the dirt. No, strike. Oh. Strike. Well, I'm sitting, strike three. I'm sitting down here and I, I couldn't quite see the batter's box. So I'm going to have to stand up. New batter for the Japan Princess. Number five, Nanako Tanaguchi. Yeah, Nanako Tanaguchi. Good day. Uh, Good young batter. Yesterday got a couple of lovely hits and a fantastic. Yesterday she was in the outfield. Played exceptionally well. Today, shortstop. Low on the outside that time. So two balls here for Tanaguchi. Very slight in stature, but as you said, JB, she certainly can swing that bat. Let's see what she can bring here. Rise ball, just a little bit outside the zone for Nanako. Strike called. Nice Full count pitching. here. Yeah. Great pitching here. Great work Middleton. from Middleton. She's come right back in there. So full count here for Nanako. A tall girl, Middleton. And a big swing. And Tanaguchi back to the dugout. A second K2 here for Middleton. Up to the plate for the princess is number two, Yua Yamashita. Yeah, Yua Yamashita now up to bat, left-hander, catcher. And as we saw yesterday, they're catching. She is phenomenal as a catcher. Yeah, she's like a trap. Everything taken beautifully. And the throws to two are just on the money every time. See what she can do with the bat in hand. Takes a second ball, this time high in the zone. Looks back to the first base coach for instructions. Swing and a miss at a high ball from Yamashita. It's been interesting. We've seen it all with the Japanese teams, JB. The coaching instructions coming from third base coach, first base coach, and also from the dugout. Yeah. The head coach stays in the dugout. And a swing and a miss. But, you know, what was really on display yesterday was just how clinical the Japanese teams are with their base running was the highlight for mine. Yeah, 100%. They just... Any... And a strike down the middle. A standing K2 for Yamashita. 
And that will retire the Princess. Wow, that's a great opening uh, innings for the Strikers. Three quick outs. And I don't think the Japanese will have uh, had that too often this weekend. No, I was talking to the coaching staff uh, from the Strikers and they, they said they were... They felt that they ne they needed to bring their best against the Japanese out of respect, and um, that's certainly on display there from Middleton. She threw hard and she threw accurate. Three K twos. So well done to the young strikers pitcher. And now let's see what they can do with the bat in hand. Yeah, Lexi Rare is up to start this one. This uh, right fielder. See the warm ups underway. A change up there from the Japanese pitcher, which is Shina Kawai. My favourite player playing out here today. Your favourite? Aloha. Aloha. Yoshimura. It's a great name. Aloha. She's out there at left field. She doesn't mind them high, but she likes them a little bit aloha. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty poor dad joke for this early in the morning. There's the throw over. Right on the money from the catcher. As always. And this is Tina Kawawi. Pitching this one. Leading off for the New South Wales Strikers, uniform number eight, Lexi Rare. Rare shows her intent early, swings at one low on the inside, fouls it away into the back net. Lead off batter, really wanting to get on base here. Swings at another one. Nice pitching from Kawai. Two strikes here for Lexi Rare. Let's see what she can do to dig herself out. She punches that one high into centre field coming forward. And will take the catch. Beautifully taken. The centre fielder is Karin Arakawa. Got under that one early and made the out. Up to bat, uniform number three, Zoe Feeney. Punches that one hard to the shortstop, picks up, throw on the money. Wow. Two up, two down here for the Strikers. Yep, yeah, six to three play there. New batter on deck for the Strikers. Number six, Jessica Middleton. So Middleton, the pitcher, punches that oh, one into right centre. Centre fielder picks it up. Throw comes in. The cutoff hit. Beautiful piece by Middleton. And a stand-up double. Beautifully executed. That was a solid, very flat swing. And gets the job done. It says we've got Nicola Harris is meant to be up now, number four, but uniform, uniform is showing us Tiana Purdy. I'm not quite sure what's going on. She punches that one high anyway. The second base gets underneath it, takes the catch for the third out, and we'll just confirm that and I can player. I that now. That's not Tiana Purdy. 
Right. Okay, so just a, an error in the numbering. So I'd say Nicola Harris is in seven. And Tiana Purdy, I would imagine, must be in four. Looks like these score sheets don't match up, but we'll get that sorted out. So three up, three down for both teams. No runs on the board as yet. And the Princess, I'll get another chance with the bat in hand. And it'll be Miyu Takashima, the designated player. Just love how they come off the team. They wait for the coach to give some instructions. Then they get together, head into the dugout and prepare for the batting lineup. Oh, ho! <laughs> There's, chant. there's been all sorts of warm-ups here, haven't there? The teams that get together in the middle and salute to the outfield. It's, uh, it's quite exceptional what they're doing. So respectful. You see the, bat, the batters as they make their way into the box, they nod to the umpire. And regardless of the call, they nod on the way out as well. Nice throw on the money there. Lead off batter for the Japan Princess, number two, Yua Yamashita. It's Nicola Harris behind the dish. And she was that last batter out, so definitely wearing uniform, uniform number seven, seven, not four. That's a great pitch to open for Middleton. Well, blow for blow in the first innings, wasn't it? Really was both both pitchers throwing hard. This Middleton here, that change up oh. there, that was a beautiful off speed pitch. Really drew the swing in there from Miyu. Miyu Takashima. So strike two for Takashima. Strike Swings three. at a high one and K two there. On Takashima. Number 20. China Kusakabe. Yeah, Kusakabe up now. Fouls that one away. Just put the bat in front of it. There was no real swing as such. Just got the bat to the ball. No real intention to go smashing that. But, yep, as you say. Bows it off. Middleton just throwing them in there to be hit. Drawing in the batters. That was another nice pitch. Good speed from Middleton. Kusakabe looks again to the coach whose arms are folded. Punches that one foul down the third base line. Taken off the net. Not out. Two-handed catch. Yeah, not, not out. Come on. <laughs> Backyard rules. One handed off the net. So and here we go. Count. Kusakabe. Swing and a miss again. So Shino Kusakabe makes a word way back to the dugout. Not a lot of intent in that swing either. Anzu Kawamoto takes her place. Anzu Kawamoto now. Well, she can. Oh, it's a big hard. swing there at a rise ball. Nice and hard at it. I'm impressed with the way Middleton's throwing here. Pitching beautifully. Another one, nice right down the middle. And Anzu throws her hands at it, but not in time. The speed of Middleton right on the money. There's a change of speed. Oh. She just gives herself a little laugh there. Glove up to the face and a bit of a giggle. With that one not quite making the distance. She'll go back to the speed here. One ball, two strikes a count. Two out for Princess. And fouls that That's one away. That one. Is it going to go off? It does. We get that one back. 
It'll be back in service or someone's bag in a moment's notice. Kawamoto here for the Princess. One ball, two strikes, two out. And she can hit the ball if she gets contact. That one well outside the zone from Middleton. So, I'm just trying to see what coach is giving the instructions at the moment. It's definitely not the two on deck. The first base coach is the one that usually gives the instructions for the Princess lineup. But here it's just up to the batter, I believe. High ball let go again by Kawamoto. He's given a one instruction and he's sticking to it. There's no need to be doing signals after every pitch. Full count here for Kawamoto now. Punches that one to oh, the third catch. base who takes it nicely. And that's another three up, three down inning for the Princess. Yeah, Emily Ross there at third base just comfortably gloves that one. Makes an end to the innings quite quickly. So, yes. Beautiful pitching from Middleton again. That was a good at-bat from Kawamoto there. She stayed in. A couple of foul balls. Picked the right balls for a walk, but unfortunately ended with a little pop up to the third base, who took it gleefully. Yeah, it certainly did. It's, um, I'm very happy with that pick up. You can hear the Japan Dreams team up in the uh, sta in their stands, yelling support for their compatriots out on the diamond. Yeah. And again, that atmosphere. We hope you're picking it up here at Blacktown. You love it, I tell you. How, how good was it yesterday, JB, the dinner that was afterwards and oh. to see all of the teams mingling out there in the outfield? Yeah, all around. There was, oh, there was about 200 kids out on the diamond just all having dinner together and just playing and mucking around. Lead off batter number 10, Kaylee Rosso. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. And, and, you know, they were playing footy and there was the Japanese boys playing and, and the Japanese uh, and the New Zealand boys and the Aussie boys all playing together. It was Picnic fantastic. rugs, music going. Yep. We saw the nut bush at one there stage. Was girls dancing left, right and centre. There was... And the nut bush is something that's actually quintessentially Australian. Not many other people do that dance around the world. So it was great to see the Japanese kids in there with the Aussie girls. Out there having a crack. Oh, it was fantastic. They were having the greatest time. And as I said, you know, my young fellow who played in this tournament uh, last year. That's a big oh, that's hit a from Kaylee Russo. Russo. Over the head, all the way back to the fence. Russo makes her way to second. It'll be a triple. She's hitting third. The cutoff player on song. Beautiful piece by Kaylee Russo. Yeah. Jay Jensen, very, very happy with that one. Yeah, Russo, she really, really got onto that one nice and early and punched it deep. And, it's, and the outfielders are quite shallow, so that ball cleared them. Even if they were deep, it still was going to clear them. It was one bounce into the fence. You better for the Strikers. Uniform number one, Lily Baxter. Well, Lily Baxter... Got a bit of pressure. Dad at first base coaching there. Scotty with his pink shoes on. Got to have something pink. Certainly does. That gets... Hates to be noticed. Scott. Yeah. Scotty doesn't like to be Larry at all. No. Got to play with Scotty in a lot of tournaments. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, good player, Scott. Good player. So here's Lily. She wants a hit. Swings at that one. Clear intention from Young Baxter. Yeah, there's uh, we've got Lily there and... You saw Cam, brother Cam, Cam in the stadium somewhere supporting yeah, his sister. Cam's been out here. Dressed to the nines as always. Swing and a miss there for Lily. Looking sharp. Two strikes, one ball. But 
He played extremely well for New South Wales in the 16s uh, down at Victoria earlier this year, Cam. Chokes up on the bat now, Lily. Let's a high one go. Yep. Two and two, the count here. That runner, Kaylee Russo, after that beautiful line drive into left field. Yeah, if there's a pass ball, Kaylee will score home here. Haven't yeah. been many pass balls in these uh, Japanese lineups, mate. No. No. But if there was... <laughs> so we'll be sweating on it. The only pass balls have really been where a pitch has gone over the top of the head of everyone. Full count here for Lily Baxter. And even that's rare. Swings oh. and a high one. A little check swing. Yeah. Lily probably could have let that one go. Take it a walk. I think she knew as well. As soon as yep. she'd done it, she looked up the third base line to the coach. Well, she wasn't going to look at first base coach because Dad wasn't. Fell away by the new batter for the New South Wales Strikers. Number 12, Tanika Williams. Yeah, Tanika Williams. Playing first base for the Strikers, Tanika. Set to go here, facing off against the pitcher. It's quite interesting. Shinokawai. With the runner at third base, how the infield is playing so shallow. Popped up, second base coming around. Shortstop gets underneath it, calls off the other fielders. It's a great communication by the Japan Princess infield there. Great work there by uh, Tanaguchi at shortstop. It was in that traditional second second base, but she came around early, called everyone off. Alyssa King up to bat now. You better for the strikers, number five, Alicia King. Alicia King now. She's asking what the signal is. Yeah. Jade saying... Swing and a it, miss. It's 4-1-2 on the wristband, and <laughs> Alicia is saying, I don't have one of those. <laughs> and Jade's asking, why not? Hard to take a signal without a wristband. Notice the strikers batters are actually wearing them up their arms, so they're almost like a bicep wrap Maybe. for a lot of them. <laughs> they might be a bit big, those, <laughs> for the forearm. So Lissier here, two balls, one strike, oh, swings at one low on the inside. So almost a cricket. Yeah, she tried to... Nick that one down a fine leg. <laughs> but, uh, it's probably not the greatest in softball. Two and two here. Two out and Russo on third. And there's a K2. And Chinna. Kawhi gets out of that one for the Princess. And again, we head into the bottom of the third. Oh, sorry, the top of the third. Yeah, the coach quickly give a couple of instructions here. And then he'll say, that's it. And we will get a little hoo-ha. Yep, they say, hi. And off they go back into the dugout. Just listening intently. You heard their hi. So they understand. They acknowledge that one. Next instruction. Plenty of instructions around making sure you're swinging and zone by the look of it. There it is. The final instruction from the coach, Yukihisa Akamoto. And he makes his way up to the first base coaching box. Not as animated as some of the other Japanese coaches we've seen. Yeah, no. He's very, very quiet and it just... A lot of nodding. Yeah, just gives his instructions. Just love how 
they prepare the Japanese teams. Lead off batter number 25, Tazumi Kiku. Yeah, Tazumi Kiku. Let's see what she can do here. She lets that first one go through. Ball outside. Middleton has not given much up at all in this game so far. It's a and nice that... line drive into left field from Kiku. All the way back to the fence. She'll make her way to second. Heads up, looks for the coach's signal, and the hold was called. She kind of hesitated as she made her way around first there and had to be told by the first base coach to keep, keep going. Yeah, well, that one was well to the back fence. That You couldn't probably put that any yeah. better. You better for Japan, number 17. Aloha, Kauai. And Aloha, Kauai. No. Yeah. No? Aloha, Yoshimura. I was going to say, didn't think it was Hawaii after Aloha, but uh, yeah. Yoshimura. Got caught up in the Hawaii moment. Oh, That's a nice bunt down the first push baseline. Oh, nice work, though. Yeah, but cleaned up by the second base that came around in cover in Zoe Feeney. But the runner advances to third. On the replay, you can see this. This is a push bunt. This is not a sack bunt. So the runner purposely pushes the ball hard off the bat up the line, and it beat the first base. And that is another good push bunt. You've got the runner in the run down now at third base. There's an overthrow. And that's what it forces. And look at the runner out there. She's already gone to one, now to two. That's what it forces. Yeah, just the unfortunate error there for the strikers. So two different bunts. Push bunt, sack bunt. Those two then. Great execution by the Japan Princess team. You better for the... Japan Princess. Who's it? What number? I've got number eight. Says uniform eight. No, have we gone back? To, we're going back to the top of the lineup because she's a, she's DP'd. We're back at Corinne. So Karina Arakawa was the batter, and now we are with. Number five, Nanako Tanaguchi. Yep. Yeah. My apologies there. Corinne was the, uh, yeah, the second base is the one DP. Ooh. Tried to just... Give that a little tickle down the third base line. She tried to push bunt third base then. She's got a runner at third base. The Japanese have scored the one run in this inning. Two strikes now. Strike three. Miss for Tanaguchi, and as you called it, strike three. And that'll send the princess back out onto the field, and it'll be the strikers with another opportunity with the bat in hand. So far, it's been about the pitches. Well, the execution there of the bunts for Japan, they got a good hit, and then they used their short game to score the run. So, smart, smart play. Conditions have really picked up here at Blacktown. If you're in the area, come on down and have a look. It really is a great tournament to come and be a spectator at. The colours and the sights and sounds of all of these teams from Japan as well as the boys from New Zealand. 
And it's great to have our visitors up from Canberra as well with all of the New South Wales kids at the BJOC tournament. Well, it's been, this has been spectacular. What a tournament. I still love just seeing all these banners around the stadium and <clears throat> it's fantastic. And Zaley Beal. Lead off batter there was Zalia Beal who hit it to the shortstop, gets the out at one. And that'll bring up. So number eight. Number eight, Lexi Rare, back to the top of the order. Yep. So the deep. Yeah, is it Beal's the DP? Emily Ross not batting this one. And we go back to Lexi Rare to the top. Shaped around for the bunt, pulls back. High pitch. You can sort of tell, <clears throat> if you watch these Japanese, when Lexi's going round there, she's going round, but that you can clearly see she's going to come back for a slap. So they're not reacting and coming down. They're waiting back for the ball to be hit. So it might be a nice surprise if Lexi puts the bunt doesn't pull back yeah. and puts the bunt because... She'll be well in front of them. Another ball here for young Lexi Rare. But we saw yesterday, it was I think it was this team, it was China, uh, the third base, Kusakabe, that gets down that line so quick. In fact, she got down the line and took one down the first base as we see that one punched hard into the dirt to second. And the throw in time for the out. Four the to regulation three. out. Yeah, the four to three play. Yeah, Karina Sujikawa. Sujikawa through to Kawamoto at first base. Let's that one go. You better for the New South Wales Strikers, number three, Zoe Feeney. Another high ball. Taken just casually by Yumishita behind the disc. Swings at a high one, Feeney. Again, Feeney. Chastises herself there. She knows she shouldn't have gone at that one. Two balls, one strike. That one she lets go. Better play. Three and one here. Opportunity for Feeney. That one's a strike. Just She knew the pressure was on there. Tina Kawai. And put it right down the middle. Change up. Ooh. Just got the bat around a little early on that. Got the end. Bit of a fizz on that one too. The way it came out of the dirt. It went left, went right. Yeah. So full count now for Feeney. There's another change oh, up. Yes. Top of the zone. Got it beautifully. And it'll end the innings there. A nice pitch to see out the innings. Feeney goes down looking. So the princess stay 1-0 up in the end of three. So we head into the top of the fourth with that 1-0 lead. And again, the girls line up around the coach. They just do things differently. See the pitcher leaves the ball in the circle when she yep. makes her way off, bows to the ball as she heads to the dugout. The girls give themselves a chair. Hey! <laughs> off they go again.
Lead off for Japan Princess. Number two, Yua Yamashita. Yua Yamashita. Fouls that one away. Solid contact with big swing from Yua. A high rise ball there from Middleton. Great speed as well. This is a good contest between Yamashita and Middleton. Beautiful pitch right down the middle. It really is all about the speed here for Middleton. She's hitting the spots beautifully now, building into the speed. Yeah, she's a quick. That's a There's great pitch. There's a pitch on the outside corner. Beautiful. Long Execution. levers gets a lot of pace as she really delivers the pitch. Uniform number 16, Miyu Takashima. Miyu Takashima. She got a K2 last time. That one high and into the back perspex. Ball one. Let's that one go. Ball two. High. Ball two here for Takashima. Middleton ready now. There it is. That is a cracking pitch. She just, there's a couple of times where she's been a little bit behind in the count. She just throws it right down the middle. And the speed of the pitch is right on the money. So Middleton ready again. Takashima holds her hands back. She had a little look at the high ball. Yeah, she did well there, I thought, holding back. So three balls, one strike here for Takashima. Ooh. And a swing and a miss this time. Tense there. Three Wants balls, two strikes. Very... Evenly poised here. Both players capable against each other. Oh. Strike. Standing K2 for Takashima. She heads back to the dugout. Up to bat now for the princess. Uniform number 20. China Kusakabe. Yeah, Kusakabe now. Let's that first one go through for a strike. And she got a K2 last time. Looks at the so, coach, but he just turns his head. He's given her the instructions. He knows what to do. Chin up. Oh. That, that was a pitch that came from nowhere, really. You can see Middleton not quite sure what happened there. And she'll shake it off. She'll shake that one off and just get back into her rhythm. Yep. Well, she did a couple of those last time, but did not bother her. Gets a swinging there. So, Kusakabe. One ball, two strikes. Jap Japanese Princess Bench getting right behind their batter. Punches it into the dirt. Middleton comes and fields, but Kusakabe yeah, too with quick. great speed. Too quick. Kusakabe, excellent. It was well fielded by Middleton. She certainly didn't leave it on the ground for long, but Kusakabe was up the line like lightning. Number 15, Anzu Kawamoto. Mm, Kawamoto now. Takes one on the inside. Kusakabe oh, in the second. Oh! Beautiful slide. I think the call is right on the money. The it was foot. a beautiful throw, but the slide was right on song, and the lead foot got to the base just in time. So we see a beautiful throw in the replay. Yeah, it was fantastic up and throw. But as you say, it's that lead foot caught the bag first and never lost contact. Well done, and the umpire right on the spot to make the call to the blue team. Getting the job done. The runner on two. 
That one in the dirt. No play at three. Again, a beautiful slide in. Just because they can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just because they can. It was excellent. But I, I think that it's efficient as well. They know, you know, the quickest way to the, the base most often is the slide. That one high, let go. Oh, Enzu gets a late call. Yeah, strike called. So Enzu Kawamoto has a three balls, one strike count. Runner on three in the shape of Kusakabe. Kawamoto Ooh. punches that one foul down the first baseline. Takes you out of camp chair. Full count here for Kawamoto. Swings oh, at a rise ball from Middleton. And Middleton gets her woman. And that is the third out. And a nice out it was. And Chino Kusakabe was left on third base. You know, there's... Again, not, it's unusual them not being able to get that runner around, but... This great pitching. Middleton has been on fire. 8K2s for Middleton. Wow. Impressive. Just three for... Kawai. Japanese pitcher. Tina Kawai. But they get the job done. The fielding. With the fielding. Is, yeah, it's just amazing. There's that throw over to end the warm-up. And we are set to get underway here. Lead off batter for the strikers, number six, Jessica Middleton. Well, she's been doing it with the ball and the bat. She had a great double last time. What can she do on this yeah, occasion? That swing was just perfection from Middleton. Strange they haven't adjusted. He, she hit it yeah, In that perfectly. gap between centre left. Yeah, and deep, well over the heads of the current fielders, but they haven't adjusted. So if she gets a hold of it again, as she did last time, she will find a big gap there. Punches that one foul down the first baseline. No play for Anzu Kawamoto. So one ball, strike two here for Middleton. The change-up attempted. Didn't quite come out right for Kawhi. Swing and a miss this Swing time miss. from Middleton. Well, one back. Next batter for the Strikers, uniform number seven, Nicola Harris. Yeah, Nicola Harris now. Well, let's that one go. Shape round for a slap. Sets herself again. Big swing this time from Harris. For a miss, one ball, one strike. It's going through the motions. Once again, replaying that one. Swings again hard. Hits it up onto the roof here at the stadium. Is it going to come down? Yep. It does. Yep. Another one. We don't see that often. No. it's They've got some spin on it, and it's hitting the deck and taken off. That one... It's a ball. Well outside the zone, and Harris lets that one slip through to the catcher. Good loud calls from the umpire. That one hit hard into the dirt from Harris. Picked up oh. by Shinner. Well, well, well. 
Kusakabe at third, and she's got a rocket arm. Chino Kusakabe, you just do not want to hit it to her because she will do that all day long. Picks it up and no. just fires at one. Number 10 for the strikers, no. Kaylee Russo. Yeah, Kaylee Russo now. That's the first one go through for a strike. Had that beautiful line drive into left field for a three base hit. Yeah, she hit it right over the heads. Now the left fielder has gone back for Kaylee. Another Here's strike. Strike two called. So, yeah. Kawhi right on the money here with the pitches to open the account. Two strikes here for Russo. That one she hits. Off the end of the bat to second base. A little bit of a fizz, but yes. Russo, as fast as she is, the throw was in time and the out made it one. Three up, three down. And that's the end of the fourth inning. We make our way to top five, and it's Japan Princess leading by that solitary run. 1-0. It's, uh, well, it's a cracking game. It's an awesome game. Both teams really putting it out there. They've... Left nothing behind, that is for sure and certain. They're on to every ball that's been hit. And it's just been that little mix-up in the run rundown attempt. Yes, that's it's allowed that one run to be scored. And it, it really is a blip. It was just came from nowhere, the error. And it just hit the top of the glove, and that was enough for the Japanese runner to make their way home. Well, they would have made the out. I mean, yeah, the out, absolutely. The was on. They they had the the players in motion. Everything was right from the strikers. Just that ball popped out of the glove and the throw just behold, a touch high. Bit of luck for the Japanese team, and they get home. Middleton now. We'll look to. Uh, Try and keep shutting this team down, not letting them get many on base. Now the strikers did prepare another battery, so they have backup for Middleton. We might see a change, depending on the time of the game, but certainly getting the job done here, Middleton. She's been impressive. You know, Carly Russo is a pitcher in this team. Zalia. Beal, she's a pitcher as well. Lead off batter for Japan Princess is number 25, Tatsubi Kiku. Uh, Kiku up. Umpire just checking something here. Might be some changes. Looking at left field there. I saw the coach for the Japan Princess look to the outfield. So I'm guessing there's been some changes in the strikers lineup. It looks like uh, Tiana Purdy might be out there now at left field. Could be. Looks is... like her. I'll uh, go with your judgment from... on well, that one. It's, right it's a long here, way out there, mate. We can't see the number of the uniform. But there we can. Number seven. No, yes, it is. Oh, look at you go. Okay. Here we have it. You've been eating your carrots. I must have two girls with seven on then. Potentially. Because, yes. We did have that confusion earlier on with Nicola Harris. Yeah. So I think we've got two sevens out there. So that'll be the reason. I'll let you take that up with the gear, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Set to get underway with Tatsumi Kiku. Swing and a miss at the opening pitch. Middleton again bringing the heat. Kiku set. Swings again. Go Middleton, impressive in the circle. 
That oh, one, a, great a little piece. bit of an off-speed pitch, but hit beautifully by Tatsumi Kiku. She makes her way to first base rapidly. She didn't try and smash no, that. No. She just pushed the ball from the middle of the bat and just punched it straight over the top of second base into that big gap before the center fielder. Number 17, Aloha Yoshimura. Uh, Aloha Yoshimura. Look oh. at her. She's got the pink hair. She has. See a little bit about that with the um, the spectators as well. There's coloured hair in amongst the touring contingent. I think yeah. this is the first player I've seen with it. Just all adds so to polite the... So polite last night, serving them dinner and they're all bowing and thanking you every, every time you... That's an awesome uh, culture. Offering them something to eat or drink. So Yoshimura here has, that's the first strike of the count. So two balls, one strike for Aloha Yoshimura. But cannot speak highly enough of Jess Middleton in the circle for the strikers. Aloha holds back there. She's looking for the runner to go, but... The coach is giving her instructions, now and I think he's he told her to hit. To hit. He's been telling her to hold off and try and move the runner from one to two. She hasn't run at all. High ball. This time the runner goes. Throws on the money and punched out and at Russo. two. Russo makes the tag out there. Yeah, that, that beautiful throw from behind the dish. Nicola Harris, it is, that put that... Ball on a dime. The tag made it second. And now it's there for Yoshimura. Strike out. Oh, strike three. A big call out. So Aloha just looks back at the umpire, takes the call and heads back to the dugout. I think she was just reminding him she was three foot. You better. Number 14, Tina. Kawaii. She's not the tallest one, Aloha. And uh, mm. ball got up there. That one's been popped straight up. Oh, it's, I think the catcher thought yeah. the pitcher had it. I think the pitcher thought the catcher was going to get it, and they both stood back, and that one goes foul. No damage done. But ball Middleton goes. Middleton put in the hard yards and got all the way there. All she needed to do is just put the hand out a touch. It was probably 10 centimetres away from the fingers of the glove. So a chance gone missing. Oh, and this one. Great piece. Hit into right field. Gets under the glove of the fielder. So Kawhi mm. makes her way to second. She'll head to third. The relay throw is hit. The coach sending her all the way home. In ground home run for Tina Kawhi. What a great hit. That was outstanding. Tina Kawaii. A little misfield. Yeah, Emily Williamson out there just got under the glove like in that previous game. And once it does, it runs all the way to the back fence. And Emily had to go a good 20 metres back to that fence to pick it up. The ball was hit with power. The cutoff throw was on the money too, and the relay was excellent. But just Tina Kawaii got around the bases. You better for Japan Princess. Number 10, Karin Arakawa. Yeah, now we're back to the top of the lineup again. Let's a high one go. Hands were up there for it, but. Yep. Let's it pass for one ball, one strike now for Arakawa. And a 2 0 lead. Oh, swings at that. <laughs> Certainly wanted a piece of it. One ball, strike two. That one gets away. Yes. Three ducks on the pond. That's what it is. He's looking out at the scoreboard, all the twos. It's, looks like the ducks all in a row. Two balls, two strikes, and two out.
That one hit hard into the ground, gets past second base, into the right oh. field again under the glove. And the runner makes her way around second, heads to third. This Shoot. time the coach holds her up. Rousseau charges into the infield, just asking questions of the base runner there. We have a change here for Japan Princess. Yeah, uh, looking for the number. Well, there's only one on the bench. The Manami Takamatsu. So it'll be the seven. Change in the lineup for Japan Princess into the game. Number seven, Manami Takamatsu. That one low and wide. Low on the outside, the umpire takes his time to have a look at that one. Middleton doesn't get the call. Pitching beautifully, really using that strike zone. That one. That's a better one. Took a little bit to look at that one, but definitely a strike. Yeah, good call. So we see Middleton ready to go once again, and Takamatsu. Faces off. Let's it go again for another called strike. Two and two, the count here for Takamatsu. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And that is a K2 to end the innings for Middleton. They leave a runner on three, but an extra run scored in the top of the Fifth, so they now lead 2-0. Uh, that was an excellent, excellent bit of pitching to get, her, get them out of that. Just the, t the run scored on that unfortunate error. And the uh, next runner on base, too, from the same play where the ball just got under the glove of the right fielder who charged in beautifully to, to get it. But the ball stayed extra low, skidding off the... The wet grass. So this is going to be uh... interesting at bat here for the strikers. Yeah, they're two runs now. Though. Were they in their batting lineup? So we have 15 minutes. So we're down in the middle of the order. In the lineup here, number 13, Emily Williamson. So a new batter for the strikers. Williamson gets a chance, pops a bunt down the third oh. baseline in foul territory. See how quickly Chinna. Chinna. My lord. Chinna Kusakabe is like a trap. Anything put into the dirt down her side of the field, and sometimes even the opposite side of the field, she's on. So here we go again. Williamson shapes up. Corners come down. There she is, Kusakabe. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, but recovered nicely. Just got out of the glove of the second base who come around in cover. That's so awesome. That is... It's a wonder the, um, the coach didn't question that one because no, I tell you... I, I think the call was 100% correct. The, the ball did come out, but she recovered it in time. Yeah, the replay shows it. You're right. I had no doubt. <laughs> You better for the strikers, number 12, Tanika Williams. Bows that off into the back net. Yeah, 
Yeah, Williams. Last time around. Popped it up for the shortstop. See what you can do here. Oh, Hits this hit. one into right field. Backing back. Turns. Oh! Oh! What an Had the glove up high and turned it around at the last minute and took the sinking catch there in right field. A little unorthodox, but she got it. Doesn't matter how orthodox or unorthodox it is, as long as you get it. So you better coming in here for the strikers. Checks at that one. Going to ask the question. No, she didn't, says the third base umpire. Okay. Takes a signal. The batter for the strikers is number 11, Daisy White. Oh, Daisy. Good hitter, Daisy White. She looks at another one. That's three balls here. So, so her young brother running around here, Harry White. Got the flowing mullet out. <laughs> There's a few of those. There's that Daisy. One. Oh, but... Another yeah. beautiful execution. The way that was scooped up by the shortstop. Got some body in behind it. The second hand's in play. As soon as the ball hits the glove, the transfer on the money, balance, and then throw that... It's it's textbook. So it's so impressive. Like so many kids at this age, do get a bit afraid of the ball, and they try to get their body sort of a little bit out to the, the side road. of it, and their heads are thrown yeah. back, and their hands are thrown at it. And the Japanese, they just get ready to scoop it straight up and throw it body right behind the ball, and it always stays in their glove. Like if you do, you do say to kids, get behind it, because if you get your glove in the right position, it's where the ball goes. It never hits you. Um, but, you know, there is that fear factor. But these don't have the fear factor. They must do this a thousand times a week, so they uh, have no fear. And that was that was beautifully executed. And the throw just, again, it wasn't rushed. The, the base running was, was awesome there, was on song. She was yep. well up the line, but the throw was just take my time, balance myself so I know that the throw is going to hit the mark, and that's exactly what happened. And Daisy's gone to first base there. So there has been a few changes in this strikers lineup. Just need to see where we are here with the Japanese batter. Number two. Better for Japan Princess, number two, you are Yamashita. Yeah, Yamashita. Now, Yamashita last time, she's had two K2s in this game, so Middleton's had the better of her. Yeah, powerful batter, Yamashita. She hit a couple of cracking shots in matches yesterday that we were able to see. As again, Ooh. that big swing, powerful swing. Very powerful. She connects with this one. It's going a long way. And she does, but it goes to Daisy White, who plays her base, makes the out. And just the ground out there. As you said, Daisy White did it all herself. The younger in the box for Japan Princess number sixteen Miyu Takashima. I do notice young Daisy's brother Harry White um, plays over there at Southern Districts with Daisy, but what he also does is young Harry White goes straight from his playing on a Saturday. Straight back over to Sutherland's umpire. The seniors nice. in the afternoon as a young fella. And I saw he got a big award out there from the umpires at Sutherland. So well done to Harry White on that. Giving back. It's great to see a lot of our juniors. Oh, that's a nice off-speed pitch great from Middleton. Up. 
to get her woman sends Miyu Yamashita back to the dugout uniform number 20 China Kusakabe the funny thing is about Harry and his uh, sister, they play in opposing sides out there at Southern Districts. <laughs> that family so, rivalry. Uh, Harry hit one over her head recently, and she was at first base, and did he let her know? <laughs> it's just on that umpiring thing, it's great to see. We've got, um, as we said earlier, Rory Taylor played in this event last year, back here umpiring. And as you said, Harry going and umpiring at a local affiliate level. And Harry's... Actually, too young to play this tournament this year. So, I mean, he's only 12, I think, out there doing that. So, it's a wonderful for young players to be doing that. It's something my uh, my young bloke up on the coast too got the uh, junior umpiring award. He's taken to it. He really loves umpiring. Puts his hand up every Saturday to umpire the uh, the senior or the the more senior junior age groups. And yes, gets in and helps out. So. It's all part of putting back into the sport and learning other aspects of the game as well. It helps you understand when well, you look at it from different perspectives. Yeah, Taj, who's coaching out here for the strikers, for the uh, male strikers team, my uh, eldest boy, uh, he finds that his umpiring is certainly a big asset as a coach. Oh, absolutely. Um, being able to question certain yep. decisions that have been made. With respect. Oh, That's definitely key, with isn't respect. It? As an umpire, they know... How to approach a, a fellow umpire and that's Kusakabe. Another attempted bunt fouls it away down the third baseline. We see the the guard slide down the leg now over the shin. That rear shin guard. Mm. How'd you go on your reconnaissance yesterday? You were going to ask about some of those guards. Well, couldn't, couldn't get, get one. <laughs> It was, it was definitely a, a language barrier I was trying to uh, broach. But, um, Full count here for Kusakabe. Might try again with the interpreter. I might have a lead in there for you. I'll be able to take you down and introduce you to the interpreter. I've been doing a little bit of work with her over the last few days. So, Chinna, so, so what she's done now, right, She's that, that guard has now gone from a... Leg Shin. guard yep. up to, to on a knee for her to slide, slide into this next base. So it must be more of a foamy, mm. uh, very. In the box for the princess, number 15, Anzu Kawamoto. Oh, they go. Oh. That's beautifully executed. As I say, slides in on the knee. Big lead off there. Drew the throw from the catcher. And that throw back to one was on the money, but Chinak Kusakabe was off and running. So one ball. Once you've thrown the ball behind a runner. Strike here. And Zoo punches that one into the ground. That's a beautiful throw. Oh, Gets away good. from first base. And it's going to so go... Run will score here. Kusakabe makes the way home. It'll be... A Oh, it's a wonder it wasn't a triple. Kusakabe. Well, just the... You know what? It's the sunlight. You can look, it's poor old first base at the moment. He's dead set looking straight into the sun. So that ball was fractionally just above her eye line. And... Young Daisy. This is that one. Better in the box for Japan Princess. Uniform number 25, Tatsumi Kiku. So another run on the board here for the Princess. 3-0 lead over the Strikers. We have two out. And a runner on second here for Kiku. If she can convert. A safe hit will score. She pops that one up for Middleton to go yeah. backwards a couple of steps and take the catch to end innings. What can't Middleton do? She's done that to second pop fly that she's caught. Pitched, caught. And batted. And batted. Five to go in this game. 
And the strikers will get a chance here to time at least to try and peg back these runs. They need three. Let's see what they can do. The Japan Princess are back out on the diamond quickly. They want to give their opponents an opportunity here. Because they just appreciate playing the game. Yep. No, it's a wonderful experience. So, you know, it's... I tell you, it's been a bit of luck. I mean, there was the one home run, right? There's... Friday night. No, no, here. Oh, in, here in, in this, this game, game, yeah, the one out for the fence, yep. The other two, just those two errors have cost the strikers those two other runs. So 3-0. It's a game of inches, as they say. And Lead off for the New South Wales strikers. Number two, Zylia Beal. She hits that one. Yep. But look at the shortstop. Oh, oh, oh. It's pretty to watch. That's the Tanaguchi. way to describe it. Tanaguchi is all over it and fires at the one, and that's out. So Zolia Bill's got contact both times and been played out at one, but solid hitting from Zylia. So shout out to her getting the job done as the DP. But both times it's been the shortstop. It's picked it up and fired it over Alicia King now. Oh, that's a good Lexi hit. Lexi Rare gets a piece of that one oh. over the head of left field. She's gone for a triple. So that. Lexi Rare with that triple. That is beautiful. What a piece. What a piece, Lexi Rare. Up to the plate now for the Strikers. Number three, Zoe Feeney. So Tina Kawai remains in the circle for the Japan Princess. And it's Zoe Feeney on deck with a runner on three. Just the one out here for the strikers. Yep. And that one called a strike. So Feeney with an opportunity to score another run here with a safe hit. Or even a sack bunt. Yeah, push bunt down first base line. That's where she was headed. Just couldn't quite get the bat to the ball. Just an angle on the bat face. Feeney, again, checking the, the call from the coach. Two strikes here for Feeney. Punches oh, that nice. one, pops it up for the shortstop. Oh, Tanaguchi. <laughs> There's not much gets past Tanaguchi. Uh, she, the whole time, said hers. She caught the ball and was looking straight away. Number six, Jessica Middleton. Sorry to cut you off there. Just calling the, yeah, all right. the ground as well as Middleton pops this one up. Second base under it. Second base takes the regulation out. And Suchikawa makes the end of the innings. And that'll be time and game. Oh, we're just going to see what the umpires call here. It's two minutes to go. He's signaling to the fellow umpires. So we will play to time. Two minutes. Well, I say by the time the coach has a word to the team. They're potentially now they're looking. So the first base umpire sending the Japan team, asking the coach just wants to know what's going on here. So we'll have a decision for you. A little bit of confusion. Just two minutes to go in the time game. We are at equal innings. It's time now. And Japan... With the lead, so... I think you'll call time. Yeah. Time. Game. It is called. Cool. 
It's the language barrier. A little bit of confusion down there, but we've got it sorted out. The umpires have called time. There's only two minutes remaining. Japan would have been in back out to bat, but they have that 3-0 three, three lead. So time and game has been called. Another great demonstration here of junior softball from this BJOC tournament. Japan Princess defeating the New South Wales Strikers. But massive shout-out to both teams. I mean, everything was, was pretty to watch there. The pitching from both pitches was awesome. Some great hitting and base running, and all round just great softball from the girls. That was fantastic. It was a great game. Down there doing their gift exchange now, the young ladies, as they do. It's beautiful to watch, and cannot wait. The next game up here will be the... New South Wales sliders, Japanese dreams coming up. And that's so. at 11.30. So we'll take a short break here and be back with all the action from the BJIC tournament where the sliders will take on the dreams at 11.30.